So I have not pre-watched this. So FYI, if Steven Crowder says anything that's super yikesy, you've been warned. I don't know what he's going to say. I'm watching this for the first time. But as Jason Campbell states here, Steven Crowder supports Russia's tyrannical new anti-LGBTQ plus laws. Some of that seems fair. Now, Steven Crowder is presumably reacting to this law by Putin, where the expression of LGBTQ plus identity is banned in Russia. We'll get to that in a moment here. But let's see what uh, Steven Crowder says. <laughs> so under the new law, individuals can be uh, fined over $6,000 for what they refer to as LGBT propaganda, yeah. uh, over $3,000 for demonstrations of LGBT causes, information that encourages a change of gender among oh. teenagers. So here's the thing. Some of that seems fair. Right. Um, and if we put that into, uh, into effect here, we could just basically eliminate the national debt just from the fines to Disney. <laughs> You can comment below on what you yeah. think about this, and if you can at least understand where they're coming from. Of course, I don't think that anyone should be punished just for being gay. Of no. course, I believe that everyone should have equal rights here in this country. I don't believe that marriage is a fundamental human right, but I believe in civil unions. And that's always been my position. But I That's not equal rights, dipshit. Civil unions do not give you the same federal rights as marriage does. So, no, you don't believe in equal rights. Uh, but... I've got to say, the reason why I would assume Steven Crowder wouldn't support this law is because he himself would be slapped. I mean, if you see this, is this not uh, LGBTQ plus propaganda? I mean, you wouldn't tell the difference, you know? It's a dude who's dressing in drag. So he himself would be fined multiple times because he loves to dress like a woman. In fact, any opportunity that he has, he's uh, dressing like a woman. So, you know, he would possibly be legally liable if that came to the United States. So he has a personal interest in making sure that it never does. But anyways, let's let him finish. I certainly don't think that someone should be arrested for being gay. Someone should be mistreated for being gay. Someone should uh, not enjoy the same rights as everyone else. But I do understand. But you just said that, though. You just said that gay should only have access to civil unions, which is not the same thing as marriage. And I just got to say, it's so funny how some of these conservatives will be like, listen, I'm reasonable. I support gay rights. I don't think that they should be murdered. You know, I, I support I support, I support them living. Um, and meanwhile, they'll just like shit on queer people and trans people 24 seven. But it's like, oh, I'm reasonable because look, you know, I don't think they should die. Should they have some protection, you know, under the law? Maybe. But yeah, no, you're not reasonable, Stephen Crowder. You are a bigot. And no, you don't support equal rights. You're just saying what you think you need to say so you don't violate YouTube's TOS. Stand them right now trying to safeguard when they look in the United States yeah. and they see children being put on puberty blockers. When they see hypersexualized issues being taught to children, ages kindergarten through third grade. And you'll hear some people say, this is a boogeyman argument. I hear people from the left saying, no, no. It's not okay. He's he's saying the law is bad, but now he's justifying it based on nothing, based on nothing. So I don't know what teaching like sex or sexuality to kids even means. I assume that he means that, oh, well, if you teach your kid that, you know, Timmy can have two moms or two dads, just like he can have a mom or a dad, that's teaching a kid something that's sexual. When it comes to puberty blockers, this is something that is a decision that's made by doctors in concert with the child and the parent. This is none of your business. Like, you, you don't get to interject and say, oh, well, you all consent. I don't consent. Therefore, you don't get to put your kid on puberty blockers. Like, who the fuck are you? You don't get to make medical decisions about other people's children. I mean, it's absurd. Imagine if he intervened and said, you know what? I don't want that kid who has cancer to get chemotherapy because there's so many side effects with chemotherapy it basically is a race between who's going to die first the cancer or the kid so i can't i can't support that you don't get to make these decisions steven crowder mind your own fucking business maybe you don't allow your kids if they're trans to get on puberty blockers maybe you reject the advice of your doctor if one of your kids does turn out to have gender dysphoria but this is none of your business that's not a justification for this law People who are prescribing puberty blockers to uh, trans teenagers, and it's a small number, by the way, they're doing so based on the evidence that shows that that is preferable to not allowing that kid to transition because they are more likely to attempt suicide. Not a boogeyman argument. It's not a what if. It's not a slippery slope argument. There had to be legislation proposed to stop it because of yeah. the policy 
of the entire DNC, to be clear. So I understand this reaction. Not true. Be an overreaction from Russia, but you also have to understand, like with Brittany Griner, they don't share your values. No. They don't see a bunch of guys with leather chokers on floats having sex in the streets of San Francisco as something they want in Russia. And by the way, I would say that that's our best export as a United States. Okay. Um, so when he says that they are, uh, they're reacting, that's completely incorrect. When you look at these um, anti-trans school sports bans, for example, so they've been proposed in like half of the states. A lot of states have adopted them. The overwhelming majority of Republicans who sponsored these laws couldn't cite a single example of a trans athlete causing problems in their schools. In other words, they're creating solutions to problems that don't exist. Why? Because they just hate queer people and LGBTQ plus people, especially trans kids, are the new punching bag for the GOP. Perhaps next year they'll switch back to immigrants and then switch back to Muslims. Like they, they kind of change who they're targeting, but they're always targeting someone and it's always based on lies. So um, let's get to the actual law in question that he's talking about here. So President Vladimir Putin of Russia intensified his crackdown on LGBTQ people on Monday when he signed new legislation that widely bans public expression of their identity in the country. The new law makes it illegal to spread propaganda about non-traditional sexual relations in the media, advertising, movies, or on social media. It had passed the Duma, Russia's parliament, by a vote of 397 to 0 on November 24th demonstrations of non-traditional relationships or preferences will also be completely barred from advertising and from any outlet visible to minors distributing to minors any information that causes children to want to change their sex was also prohibited so this all stems from this idea that if you expose children to the existence of queer people they'll find it alluring and they might choose to be gay which is why you got to ban it but if you like reverse engineer this logic, well, okay, if you see an advertisement with a woman and a man kissing, is that not heterosexual propaganda? Is that not going to make gay people want to try heterosexuality? No. So why does it only work one way? It doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make any sense when you think about it. But because they're ignorant and hateful, they think that gay people are perverting the youth trans people are convincing people to be trans cis people aren't convincing trans people to be cis no it's just it's the other way around it doesn't make any sense if you ban gay propaganda and the uh straight propaganda doesn't stop all of these uh straight couples from having gay kids seems like you failed there right now, this to me is not shocking. It's still really sad. But Russia has been vehemently homophobic for a very long time. I don't know if this phenomenon is still taking place, but circa 2014, 2015, uh, any like gay dating websites or apps were infiltrated by homophobes and they'd like try to meet up for a date and it would be homophobes unknowingly showing up to beat their asses if they were gay. So, you know, it's it's deeply ingrained within the culture. Uh, unfortunately and then you have people like steven crowder who don't technically literally support the law but you know he can understand the rationale for banning gay propaganda it's just like honestly i, I think that if you could ask steven crowder uh not on camera he would say yeah he wants this here in the united states i think a lot of conservatives are going to look to that being the model because look at we we know where the don't say gay law came from. It didn't originate from Florida, believe it or not, even though that's the first state to pass it. It came from Hungary. Viktor Orban, the prime minister of Hungary, he consolidated power by ginning up popular support based on homophobia, right? And so uh, Ron DeSantis emulated that strategy and now it's it's popular here too. So like, I wouldn't be surprised if we start to see some red states introducing anti-gay propaganda laws. Thankfully, we do have the First Amendment here and that would violate the First Amendment. But does that mean that they're gonna uh, never try? Of course not, like they're trying to ban books and whatnot. So this is the right in America. They're just deeply bigoted and that's what they're going to be for as long as it is politically expedient for them, unfortunately. Were you acting like a beta? Beta, 
Yeah, not a beta male.